everybody! This week I want to show you how to make these bow bracelets out of tea light candle holders. A few weeks ago I was replacing a tea light candle under my scented wax. And when I looked at my empty candle holder, I thought, hmm, I wonder what I can make out of this instead of throwing it away. That is when I came up with this idea, and I thought that it would make a great holiday bracelet. But if you use your imagination, you can make it into everyday jewelry too, even earrings. But today, I'm going to show you how to make my holiday bracelet. So let's get started. Here's what you will need. A glue gun, scissors, pencil, craft ribbon, hole punch, stretch elastic cord, and empty tea light containers. I saved most of my containers, but if you don't have any saved up, you can easily slip the candle part out of your new containers and reuse the last used tea light container over and over again by refilling it with a new candle when you need it. Be sure to pop the bottom part of the wick out of the container before you make your bow. Now fold all the edges down on the container like this. Then fold two of those edges over again until it looks like a rectangle. Get your pencil and push the center of the long sides in. Now it looks like a bow. Get your hole punch and punch a hole on both sides of the center of the bow like this. You could use any color of ribbon that you have for your bows. I just use whatever I had in my craft stuff. Get whatever kind of ribbon you will be using and cut enough off of it to go around the center of your bow. Now use your hot glue to glue the ribbon onto the bow like this. You can also use thin ribbon to add color to your bows. I wrap the thin ribbon around the center several times to cover it. I cut the thin ribbon after it is wrapped to be sure it is fully covered. For my bracelet, I use the clear elastic stretch cord because it makes it easy to stretch over top of my hand. But you could also use ribbon and just tie a bow on it if you wanted to. Use whatever you have handy. Now I cut a piece of elastic cord, giving myself extra to go around my wrist and to tie it. Put one end of the cord into both holes on each side of the bows like this, until the bracelet fits around your wrist. When you are sure it will fit your wrist, tie a couple of knots to tie both ends of the cord together. The last thing I do is hot glue the knot to be sure that the knot is secure and won't come undone. And then I cut the extra cord off. One of my favorite things that I did to this bracelet is I added bells. It gives it that festive look and sound. By adding extra embellishments between your bows, you can give your bracelet all kinds of style. I love how easy and quick these bracelets are to make. And I always like recycling everyday things into new creations. I hope this idea inspires you to come up with your own bracelet ideas. If you would like to share your ideas with us, leave a comment down below. And feel free to post your pictures on our Facebook page. Here's what was shared with us this week. Look at the pretty little winter hats that Miranda made. She used puffy paint to paint her family's names on each of them. Awesome job, Miranda. I really appreciate everyone taking the time to post your pictures and share. You're such an inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you like this idea and would like to see more ideas like this. I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Merry Christmas. Bye.
your masterpiece, Lindsay. Your beautiful masterpiece. <laughs> this is what we got in 2008 at the Holiday Stroll. And these are what we got this year, 2014. There's the big angel, and here's our little angel. And all these little ornaments have sentimental meaning from years and years gone past. 